The Great Library of Alexandria in Alexandria, Egypt, was one of the largest and most significant libraries of the ancient world. The library was part of a larger research institution called the Mausian, which was dedicated to the Muses, the nine goddesses of the arts. The idea of a universal library in Alexandria may have been proposed by Demetrius of Phalerum, an exiled Athenian statesman living in Alexandria, to Ptolemy I. Soter, who may have established plans for the library, but the library itself was probably not built until the reign of his son Ptolemy II Philadelphus. The library quickly acquired many papyrus scrolls, due largely to the Ptolemaic king's aggressive and well-funded policies for procuring texts. It is unknown precisely how many such scrolls were housed at any given time, but estimates range from 40,000 to 400,000 at its height. Alexandria came to be regarded as the capital of knowledge and learning, in part because of the Great Library. Many important and influential scholars worked at the library during the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, including, among many others, Xenodotus of Ephesus, who worked towards standardizing the texts of the Homeric poems, Callimachus, who wrote the Pinakes, sometimes considered to be the world's first library catalog, Apollonius of Rhodes, who compassed the epic poem The Argonautica, Eratosthenes of Cyrene, who calculated the circumference of the earth within a few hundred kilometers of accuracy, Aristophanes of Byzantium, who invented the system of Greek diacritics and was the first to divide poetic texts into lines, and Aristarchus of Samothrace, who produced the definitive texts of the Homeric poems as well as extensive commentaries on them. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to view more of our videos. Have a nice day.